we're here in Playa del Carmen, Mexico. Uh, you're from UK. the UK and I'm from America and we're here and we're um, privileged mm -hmm. to be in a space um, where I believe a lot of people are either running towards something or running away from something or trying to perfect something that they have inside. Uh, how would you say you classify in this space? I mean, you're, you're, you've been doing really amazing work around the world uh, with your hypnosis um, that kind of birth, was birthed from your own personal journey. Um, what journey are you on today? What is, what is your journey here in Mexico? What does that look like? I think it's a bit of all three. Like, it's partially getting away from what was very routine for me. I was, it was very exciting at one point when I started to build my office to work more, but then it became very routine of wake up, go into my office, make lunch, because I was always working at home. So it was partly getting away from the old routine, adventure, getting into the adventure, and also just stepping outside what's comfortable, living out of my home country in a language where I don't speak, the, in a country where I don't speak the language, where now I'm learning the language. So it's just a whole growth factor of try something new. Yeah. If you had to plant a seed and someone who was on the verge of making a decision to explore a journey for peace, uh, mental health, um, confusion, where they're at right now, what would you put in that seed? It's going to eventually come out. Is it going to come out, like imagine it like a pressure cooker. Are you just going to let some of the air out and or are you going to wait until the pressure cooker explodes? Because either way it's going to come out. It's your choice how it comes out. And just speaking to someone, um, speaking to your family or friends, whether that's someone professional, getting their advice is going to just reduce that pressure rather than a big explosion.